before he was born, there was something wonderful that was supposed to happen. And, um, and, and so, um, and, and, the, and the story just, just goes through, there's a love uh, situation, there's, uh, there's, all, there's intrigue, there's, uh, there's a moment where he goes into, into a real dark place, that's the 27 years, uh, you know, and, and, and then there's that moment, which, I, which I, many of us, I think, witnessed on television, uh, where, I think it was around noon or something like that, where he walks, he walks out of imprisonment. Like six years ago. And the sun is shining and it's like, bang, you know, and, and, and so that's the kind of thing that a symphony orchestra does really Some, well. Um, we're always seen as very vulnerable, very fair, and I think with this ballet, you get to see both sides of that. Like, yes, black represents strength, but we're also vulnerable. We've gone through so much during our history, mm -hmm. and I think that's so important, especially in the classical ballet, because we're always the strong, powerful one. We never get to be in love. We never get to be vulnerable or scared, and I think that's mm -hmm. vital for us as a culture, but in a ballet specifically. Well, and it's a very true representation of what the relationship was, because he said, I don't know if I believe in love at first sight, but I know when I saw <laughs> Winnie, I wanted her to be my wife. So it's a very beautiful love story. Yeah. I want to talk about sort of the classical arts and ballet, which has not always been welcoming <laughs> to us, <laughs> let's face it. When were you bitten by the ballet bug? We know that you saw a fan of the, of the <laughs> opera, which has some ballet in it, but yeah. what, what drew you to ballet? And you describe ballet as visceral, and I couldn't agree more, but what, what drew you? And then I want to hear from you what draw, drew you to ballet. The accessibility was the first thing. Um, Every time around Christmas time, everyone goes and sees Nutcracker. But the great thing about living in San Diego, the Nutcracker used to come on TV. Um, it was Pacific Northwest Ballet's production of the Nutcracker starring Patricia Barker. And I used to remember that watching. I used to get so excited that I, it was coming on, I was going to get to watch it. So that was my first introduction to ballet. My parents had also gone to see Dance Theater of Harlem's Firebird when I, before I was even born. With the incredible Stephanie Dabney. Yes, and oh. so they introduced me to ballet as well. My mom always used to talk about Firebird and the Wiz and what she saw and how she felt and the costumes. Um, and then when I was eight years old, my mom started putting me in dance classes. And dan ballet specifically is very uh, the foundation for really any dance Everything. form that you take. And if you want to be a strong performer and a strong, have a diversified career, you really need to have a strong ballet background. And so mm. I put on the tights and the dance belt, despite the fact that I didn't uh. want to wear a dance belt, and, <laughs> and I got my technique, you know, I got my ballet training. Tell us a bit about what people get to see. <laughs> Uh, they'll get to see three ballets, uh, three ballets that are rooted in black history or the black experience, and uh, Madiba, a story of Nelson Mandela's life, in addition to uh, Black Iris, uh, which was the original ballet that inspired yeah. this entire project. And the third ballet is a ballet called Brown Baby, which is uh, based on a true story about a black model in the United States. Her name is uh, Beatrice Reynolds Cox.